Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd. The real Hebrew translation shepherd means king. In John 10, 11, Jesus declared, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd gave his life for the sheep. He was clearly referring to the fact that he was giving his life to us, save us, his sheep. Jesus was the shepherd who became his sheep. Isaiah chapter 53 is fully of Messianic scriptures describing what the Messiah would be like. Verse 7 says, He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shares is silent. So he opened not his mouth. God the Father sent his Son, Jesus, to become the final blood sacrifice for the sin of all mankind. John the baptized. So Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who take away sin of the world. John chapter 129. Thank God for the Good Shepherd who became the perfect sacrificial Lamb of God, removing our sin, guilty and shame and making us right with the, our Heavenly Father. God bless us. You, in Psalms 23 verses 5, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my herb with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodnesses and mercy shall follow me all the day of my life, and I will divine in the house of the Lord forever. There is no way around this. God actually honors and bless us right in front of our enemies. That's right. He shows off my abandonly blessing us before the very ones who want to see us fall. We don't have to worry about what others say or think about us because we know that God has our backs and that serving Him is never for nothing. He will never fail us and He will make sure that justice prevails. After all, if God is for us, who can ever begin to us? Romans chapter 8 is 31. We can be sure that God's and goodness and mercy will pursue us every single day when we allow Him to shepherd us. With the God's love and goodness overtaking us, we can divide in His presence every day until uh, we finally spend eternal with Him. Number two, God protect to us. Yeah. Uh, uh, Psalms 23 verses 4 say that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Sheep are pretty help helpless animals, and unable to define themselves without a shepherd to protect and guide, him, guide them. Sheep are easy targets for predators. Additionally, because they are dumb, sheep wander off and get lost, putting themselves in great danger. Shepherds often risk their own life to rescue their sheep. They carry a rod and staff to protect and correct their sheep. They beat off any as trying to attack and they prodded sheep who were going to wrong way to steer them back to the safety. It is the same with us. All we like sheep 
have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Isaiah chapter 53 says. Sometimes we wander off and get into the trouble. But we can trust that God cares for us. And we will protect and guide us if we are allow him to him. When we go through difficult times, we don't need to be afraid. Because we know that our shepherd is with us in the middle of it. We can take comfort that he protects and guides us with his rod and staff. Walking with us in the darkest of valley. Uh, even when faced with the death, we don't know need to be afraid. So God care for us spiritually also. Number uh, next number, God care for us spiritually. The 23 verses 3 say, He restore my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name is saying. Our shepherd or our king care for us. And he is able to restore our soul. Our soul is comprised our mind and emotions. There is not, not one person on the planet who has experienced some pain, disappointment or grief in their soul. But the good news is this. Our shepherd or our king cares for us and he is able to restore our soul. He restores and heals our minds and emotions, renewing and strengthening our very lives. Our shepherd also lead us in the right way. In John chapter 10, 27, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. When we submit to his will and his way, we can be sure that he will guide us along path that is best for us and for the sake of his name and his glory he guides our wills to lies line up uh, with his next point god is our caring provider the lord is my shepherd psalms 23 1 i shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside these still waters so verses 1 and 2 explain how God is like a shepherd who provides and cares for his sheep. We have need of nothing because our shepherd provides everything. We can rest and relax knowing that God is taking care of us. With God leads us, we experience peace and provision. Now understand, sheep are not the smartest animal so they need someone to take care of them protect them and even collect them sheep need guidance to save pastures and we too need to shepherd to guide as to safety and leaders provision sometimes we think we know better than the shepherd we are sure that we can take care of ourselves but we really can't in Matthew chapter 6, that is for Jesus compared the people to sheep. And Jesus, when he came out, saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion for them because they were like sheep, not having a shepherd or king. So he began to teach them uh, many things. Obviously, uh, shepherd less sheep are not a good thing. Likewise, we need Jesus to be our shepherd or king. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah.